that's possible. Oh, that's not pleasant. Oh, well, hello there. Hi. You're just throwing up eggs, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Can I climb this? Is there a ground? There's kind of a ground. Okay. <laughs> Things are definitely happening. All right, land on the suitcase and fall. There we go. There we go. Then I guess I want to go on this. It's showing me a pathway towards infamy. We'll go in this. Oh, you can go in this. Okay. Fall in here now. I cannot fall down head for. Are you gonna make me refight the bosses? Did all the eggs land on the guys, and... Oh no... Okay, hopefully they're weaker? Well that, none of that made sense. Come on, guy. Get closer so we can fight more. You get like give me food or something? I mean you just kinda look like you're there. Okay, now they rise up. And no healing, huh? Yeah, that has me a little bit worried. I'm gonna gonna be real. Alright. Your fight was pretty whoa, you weren't on the ceiling before, were you? I guess I have to hit the real one. Nope. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, now you're dead. But again, like... Now I'm gonna be fighting the gorilla, and I don't know how your fight works. Hey, buddy. I would rather us not be fighting right now. So do that. Now I'm dead. I just realized I don't have any lives left. God damn it. And where do we restart? Like, where do we restart? Let's find out soon. So we restart at the boss refights. That's... Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. I was, like, legitimately very worried there. Okay, I mean, I sort of see what you have to do. It's not obvious. So, no lives, but full health for Punchy. Let's see how that'll go. Yeah, you gotta get close. For the cracked egg to join him. And he gets all built up, then he does a punch. Then I get hurt, too. My I'm hoping to recreate what I did with the first boss, which is just kind of constantly be bouncing up on him. And I mean, his head is pretty damaged now. Ugh. But like, you know, you gotta, you gotta aim it. Well oh, what? I thought I would be down. Okay. What? Dude, just... just... hit him! Okay, I guess I game over. Like, I don't know, he's just hard to hit. Ugh, then he just kills me instantly. Great, 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 great. I love the jumping physics in this game. They don't feel awful at all in the slightest. No! No, I missed! Oh my god! 
I cannot play this game! Whatever! No, I press the button one. Alright, that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, it's pretty messy. You know, I lost half my life, but I made it. I mean, that's what matters. Now I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be at the elevator, and it is going to drop me. Cool. Alright. I don't have any more lives. Like, live lives. No opportunities to heal. And there's a lady with hair. Okay. Here's a tank now. I don't know. Uh. Okay, what do you want from me? Okay, so it looks like the antenna. And it looks like it's okay with me just being... Kinda okay with me just doing things. Alright, uh, we can do that. We can do things. But only up to a point. And now I game over and I probably have to start all over again. Yeah, okay, great, awesome, fantastic. The game does not control well enough for this kind of nonsense. And I am very sad that I have to like, I understand why they want you to refight the bosses. They're huge sprites. They're probably very proud of it. Fighting these feels like garbage, and fighting these for the tenth time in a row does not matter. Like, does not improve matters in the slightest. Did 
That went better than the ninja. but all health for the van that's <laughs> happening downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I, I've been looking for the description of how I would... I would describe the control feeling of this game, and it is very, very stiff. Wait, just get in there and bunker. Like, don't just sit there, bonk. Okay, okay, and then boxing gloves, balloon, and shuriken. Oh, she was a princess transformed. Actually, that design is pretty cute. Yeah, your princess Za, the princess of pizza from Moonland. Naturally, I got a one up through that. People had been. Oh, is that so? Okay, help me get back to Moonland. Uh, I would love to do that. I don't know through which process I can do that. Oh, uh, through more level? Certainly. Open up- oh wait, Moonland. Are we gonna go on the moon? Because the moon has been excessively detailed throughout the entire game. Thing past you? I destroyed a rock of uh, a wall once and I didn't get rewarded for it. Okay. Alright, well, here we go! Hitching a ride in the skull rocket! <laughs> Flashing lights, by the way. Okay! Yeah, it makes sense that we go on the moon. Rocket head! Uh, blasting away for a long- Whoa, the moon is kind of like half missing. What happened? This is not what the moon should be looking like. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Welcome to moon. Um... Five sex! I'm gonna still- uh, This is gonna be probably a different video by now, but I'm gonna still keep going. You know what? Just in case. Just in case. But I'm getting the feeling that it's gonna restore here. Yeah, so. Immediate death. Yeah, I had no health. So, you're here. You got ghost powers. Okay, so I think what I wanted- so your, your snoot is the target. You got Rinkas. Of course you do. Why do I say that? Oof. Because I'm thinking in Smebacks, of course. Snoot! Snoot! Snoot and Rinkas. Alright, and you need to like- oh, yeah, then you can like bounce up into like his crown, which is sharp and painful. Like, that's kind of- Man, I am just unable to do things in this game sometimes. Whoa! Uh, you got out of ghost mode. Cool. Alright, you got uh, this little homing trident thing. It's pretty rad. Bet you're real proud of it. I just... help. Thank you. Yeah, okay, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do that now, huh? Just gonna hover and get Bowsered. Okay! Alright! 
Game over! Haven't seen that screen before. I wonder what it means. Going to continue. And I'm hoping it gets us back on Half Moon. A time hole? Wild. <laughs> Slightly in button with his crown. What? I'm not using turbo, I'm just mashing myself. Oh, no. <sighs> Try to die! Ah! Pleasant. It's just not. It's... Uh... Like I hit him and he hits me back instantly. Like what do I do against that? Can you just not? Just kill me at this point. Like, honestly, no, I'm not even gonna wait for you to kill me. Like, I just don't know how to attack. Just some. No, I just. Good. One up! Oh, this is the run where NVIDIA clearly exclaimed that it had a driver available for me, so hopefully the recording is okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure what I did differently on that winning run, but I did it. Hey, she's pink now. She has a completely different crown. Love is in the air. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. That last boss was a complete black hole of fun. I did not enjoy myself. If you have participated in any Maggle act, uh, well, only any Mafab ever, you've did a better job than the team that made the last boss of this game. 
It just doesn't make sense. Like, every boss had the eggshell on their head that makes it very clear, more or less, where you're supposed to hit them. The boss, I'm still not sure. You, like, you hit him around, like, the top of the snoot, but too low on the snoot, you get hurt. Too high on the eyeball, you get hurt. It's kind of hard to tell. And I've mentioned how stiff the controls are, and yeah, like, when you do anything ever, you are committed. So if you're not well-placed, I guess you just die. <laughs> I don't know. As you saw, the last, the last phase was like, the, the, my, my, the winning run was like the third run, I think, where I, all I did was like, heck yeah, I'm just turbo spinning and seeing what happens, and... That was a winning run, and I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> oh, whoa. Okay, getting kissed by a dino. Some kind of horse animal. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, Bonk is liking it. His brain literally just... atomized. Uh, as one does. Uh, oh, and it's... I feel bad at my last memories right now. I feel bad at everything I can remember about this game is this fight. Because the rest of the game has been a lot of fun. It has been very hard. And I do feel like for a lot of the game, I have been fighting the controls a little bit. So I guess at the end of the day, the last boss is sort of a mirror image of the, of the game itself. Sorry about the hiccups that have started. That's really unfortunate. But no, yeah. So here's the thing. This is the Mario 1 of the series, and Mario 1 of the Marios is also by far, like, the most sort of uneven game. So I am genuinely looking forward to, uh, Bunk's Revenge, which is the second one, and then the third one after that. Because, as far as I understand it, it only goes up from here. So if this is the game at its lowest, it's still been pretty good. It's just that... Ooh la la, it's pretty fun to say. It's just that. Ah, okay. You know what? It's fine. I do not remember that serotonin. Okay. Yeah, that was that was that was that was difficult. See, it's Loch Ness. That's the joke they're going with. Uh, that's not. There's nothing about that. That's T-Rex. It's okay though. Man. And, like, I cheated. Like, I did not beat this game legitimately. I gave myself a midpoint on the moon. Which means that, ironically, maybe at some point I would have been able to go through the four original bosses with a lot more health resources and I'd be finally able to do it. Like, maybe it's easier to do it for real, in other words. I made a decision. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with being okay with it. It's all good, don't worry about it. <laughs> that was Huey. There's Gladys. The bosses, they got their own... Their entire thing for themselves, like a whole credit page. Gladys probably the hardest boss, because yeah, Kongozilla here. I feel like he's the hardest to learn. But once I got him, he's fine. Gladys is all over the thing, all over the screen. And she teleports. She has problems. Punchy Pedro! He also got these boots. He has tiny feet for a dinosaur. For them to fit in those like little little boot there. Pseudo za? Oh, it's za, but in pseudopod form. Right, of course. She's like she puts on a swimsuit and makes her look more naked than when she's actually naked. Yeah, that, that one was a, a surprise, 3T or T3, I don't know in what order it's supposed to be. Big old van. Here's the evil King Drool, who was the evil guy all this time. He is drooling. That's accurate. It's a pretty cool boss. He's just like a massive hitbox that doesn't really move all that much, but like he moves, but like sliding around. That's fine. That is of the era. I honestly think her design is really cute. Like, it's a really well done, and you barely see it all game. <sighs> no, thank you, NEC or Hudson Soft. I'm not probably Hudson Soft. You know, the more I think about it, the more this game does control, like, Adventure Island. The moon grew arms! Don't worry about it! Bye-bye! <laughs> Goodbye. 
this is where the game hard locks, soft locks. No, it actually goes away. The end. Because I think that's what games did on console back in the day. After the game was over, it was like, yeah, that's it. Turn it off. They don't even do that. Bunk's Venture is back. Ugh. Looking forward to two. No intermissions. We're just jumping right into Bonk's Revenge, which was the actual Patreon request. I just, I just decided to engulf the whole trilogy. Anyways, hey, hi, how's it going?